Okay, this is just a continuation of the same section 3.2. Okay, so picking up where we left off, we talked a lot about acceleration. And so now we're just going to talk a little bit, though, about projectile motion. So, at some point, you probably have tossed some kind of object in the air. And hopefully you notice that when you toss something in the air, it doesn't go like, you know, you've tossed it, and you notice that it doesn't go straight. That actually, when you toss an object, that it goes, and then eventually it curves downward. Okay? And that's because Earth's gravity actually causes an object to make a curved path. So, a couple things about projectiles and their motion. First of all, when you release an object, okay, you give it horizontal motion. So you give it horizontal acceleration. So the force causes it to move this way. That motion is constant, but obviously as you because once you release it, you're not putting any more force on it. So that acceleration is not moving. So this direction, so the horizontal acceleration so horizontal acceleration is constant due to due to um, no more force. So since we're not adding any more force, we're not we're not going to add any more acceleration. So there's that. Then you've got another component coming in though, which is the vertical motion. So we have a motion coming in this way, which is gravity. Now, that's going to cause acceleration because it's going to keep pushing. Gravity keeps pushing, pushing, pushing. So this is accelerating. Okay, so that is accelerating. So that's actually going to cause it to keep moving in that direction. And so what happens is when those two basically paths cross is that you get, you know, that motion of a curve. Now, we use these ideas of acceleration and different ideas of, of physics of projectiles and things to make amusement park rides. So we use these ideas to make harmless thrilling, thrilling rides. Um, the most common types of coasters are the steel coasters to give us the uh, most acceleration. Um, there's different drops, there's different loops in order to give us different um, accelerations in order for us to have better rides. And that all goes together with projectiles and um, accelerations. And so that's a practical application of what we've been talking about in this section.